Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a short uh, summary video of the GPO bypass um, development uh, series. Um, it's it's been successful. Uh, managed to uh, achieve the objective. Um, and managed to prove the the concept. So, without further ado. So, I'm just gonna launch Firefox. So, in this uh, machine, I have Firefox installed and I have deployed the group policy that manages Firefox and I disabled a bunch of things uh, of which the add-ons installation um, this um, proof of concept focused on Firefox but the general idea is that on Windows machines all uh, settings can be controlled by group policies and most of the group policies or the majority of the group policies are basically uh, registry changes are applied as registry changes uh, let me see if i can find it now yeah. so for firefox the policy that controls firefox the gpo that controls firefox creates um, entries on the local machine hive or hk uh, local underscore local underscore machine and usually this is not changeable you cannot change this uh, or well you cannot change the keys and the values inside uh, this one this hive uh so but and this applies to every single application but what if the application that we want to do something with and it's blocked by policy is running under the context of the user so that got me thinking uh, that if we changed what the application saw from the registry then we can enable functionality that would otherwise be disabled or enable function or um, make the application do things that would not happen on a normal uh, scenario so with that idea in mind, I decided to go with this to create this proof of concept and to focus on Firefox. So as you can see here, by it's clear that by group policy is not working. Your organization blocked the access to this uh, page or website. So I created the, the proof of concept with two components. One is the injector, which injects the library the second is the library itself so if i double click the injector the first thing it asks me is for the firefox executable which is in program files and what this will do once uh, is it will create a new process of firefox it will launch firefox in a suspended state so if I click open, then the next thing it asks me is for the library that we want to inject. So I select the library and then when I click open, not only will the process be created, but the library will be injected to that, to that uh, process. And when it gets injected, it detours, it hooks um, three functions on the Firefox that are used by Firefox and that are in uh, kernelbase.dll. Those three functions are create process, uh, res 
open uh, key X W and reg reg uh, query key value X W I think I don't remember for sure but I can we can just check um, Uh, which uh, so we can and if we go here to symbols so is rash query not key it is rash query value x w then is resh open key xw and create process w. So those are the functions that are hooked uh, in by the library. So what this allows us allow us to do is to when Firefox queries for specific keys on the registry we can change the values that are returned to firefox also by hooking the create process w function we ensure that some of the children uh, processes that are created by firefox will also have the library injected into it so the values that we are changing Sorry, mistyped. Are the install outdone permission with the default value, which currently is zero, and should be Firefox needs to see it as one in order to allow installation of plugins. And the other one is um, where is it? Permissions? No, sorry. Ah, Firefox is uh, on the main uh, folder, and it's block about add-ons, which is currently one and should be zero. So. I'm now 100% sure, but I'm pretty, I'm sure, uh, um, fairly certain that we don't necessarily need to change this one because we can still visit Firefox add-ons uh, website to change uh, to install new add-ons. We'll just not be able to access the block about add-ons page. In any case, so if I select the library, as I said. A child process will be created, the library will be injected, functions will be deterred, detoured, and the process will then resume, resume and Firefox will start to, to run. So if I click that, Firefox is running. So if we go, if we try to visit the web page, it works. Um, I forgot the layout for this keyboard is different. Oh man. Yeah. So it works normally as Firefox would, but then if we come here to extras, you can see that now it's enabled. So you can see here everything. So once again, launching Firefox normally. Extras is blocked. If we go to if we go to add-ons. I can be Firefox. Actually, this language is not. And if I click here, it says it doesn't allow 
it gives uh, an error so I cannot install it but if I launch with the injector you can see here that not only the add-ons are available but if I click this it asks me to install it and if I do add um, it will work so while once again while I focused on Firefox this is this can be applied to any whatsoever application so if you are in a red team engagement you uh, land on a box and you want to run some application on that box that is uh, has some features disabled by policy and you don't have uh, a way or even if you have a way to escalate privileges that would be too noisy for that environment and then this is a way to to force uh, the application to do or to allow you to do what you want to do um, I hope this uh, is useful um, to other people. It has already been useful to me and uh, one of my colleagues. Um, so thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye.